Hello everyone, this is our second QDB community meeting. Uh, I'm Maru, I welcome you everyone. So first of all, we will discuss about the issues we have fixed so far and what topics we are working on recently. Uh, we have fixed some of random bugs in QTV uh, that will be merged in the uh, next release. And we're working on MongoDB clustering and environment support for each and every uh, QTV databases. And uh, also we're working on custom config file for each, uh, each and every one. Uh, I guess that we will, we will be able to release a a little uh, fixes in this week uh, so let's hopeful about that uh, in this uh, meeting uh, we will I will do a demo about MongoDB clustering uh, and I will discuss about topic fixes issues fixes and work progress uh, about our progress, uh, we have working parallelly in each uh, topic, I just said earlier. That's that's all actually. Uh, about uh, MongoDB clustering, uh, I am going to start a demo now. I have created a GK cluster for this. Uh, before starting the G, um, clustering, let's discuss about what it is actually. Uh, replica, MongoDB supports two kinds of clustering. One is replica set and one is uh, shredding. Shredding replica set means uh, uh, there will be multiple instances and each and everyone will hold the same data from data and only primary nodes will receive the right permission and other roles will be able to read. Uh, primary only one instance can be primary at the same time. Uh, we have I've already finished working on it, uh, writing some doc and last fixes. Uh, and another one is shredding. Shredding is shredding is it will distribute the data uh, among the instances so when one instance is down mm, probably some of data will be unavailable for temporarily we are not working on that right now uh, just or on replica set for now so i will deploy a mongodb operator uh, and we'll test the QDB uh, supports for MongoDB. So I have created a GKE cluster already. Uh, maybe network is working slow. So let's deploy our MongoDB operator there. I have um, Ah, my bad. That's not dip, that's in data. There's a tiny bit script that uses the actual operator deployment script.
we know let's discuss about the specs uh, in replica set i have added a cluster mode option for mongodb api uh, if cluster mode is given and replica set is given and uh, these three replicas will be uh, working as a replica set of mongodb uh, and the name will be r this is required for replica set each and every uh, instances which will use on gb storage will create this instance now okay that's fine it's turned out uh, we have our storage class name as the standard. Okay, that's good. This will create, yeah, I have used two init scripts here, init containers. Uh, first init container will provide some scripts and it will copy the config file given by user. And the second script will actually looking for the available instances of MongoDB. Then it will decide to add a in, add this instance as a primary node or a secondary node. The first one will act as primary node. If we see the coding, the part will be here. This is the init container part. It actually work uh, around and uh, script that is this one is all the three instances are running now so let's exec on each and every pod and let's see which one is primary and which one is secondary we need secret first This is the root uh, password for instant mode instances. Uh, this instance work as primary as you can see after the cursor uh, let's create a database here we have three database right now let's create a test database and insert some document here uh, So both of the document is available. Okay. So let's exit from here and exit into another one.
as you can see this is on the secondary this instance doesn't have write permission but it can read uh, to read we have to turn on slave okay first and now we are able to read you And now you can see the test database is available in these instances now. So whenever one instance uh, give a, a, receives the right permission, it is available to all of them. So let's find out the data, if the data is available or not. Yes, all of, all of them is available. So is it from this? Just like that, this okay, uh, this instance is also secondary. So let's make a trick. We are going to delete the primary port. Now the primary port is gone, but the re uh, remaining from the remaining two one will become as a primary. That is randomly chosen by some voting they do inside, but this is automatically this will automatically done. So let's see if which one is second primary now. Uh, Mongo RS one is on uh, the primary who becomes primary. Uh, it, it is uh, it, it, the M go RS two can also be primary. It is actually it doesn't matter. We can now delete Mongo RS demo. As you can see, the instances are deleted, but the data isn't. The we preserve if we preserve the PVC. and a dormant object is also created The decision is taking some time because the instance are three instances. So it is still in pausing state. It will take some minutes, I guess. Meanwhile, let's see the snapshot configuration. Just like other KubeDB components, uh, snapshot can be taken by just giving the database name and storage secret name. Uh, and just the bucket name for each cloud provider. It can be GCS, AWS, or Azure. The schedule snapshot is also same. We have to mention the backup scheduler here. And then every one minute, it will take the snapshot of MongoDB. And the recover ARS is uh, same just like all other uh, QDB operators, QDB databases. Uh, we have to mention the init snapshot source and the snapshot name uh, will be the old snapshot and the name source will be demo we're using right now. We're running short in time. So let's see if it has paused already. Okay, just to recreate the object, we have to recreate the old OML and it will be paused eventually. We'll exec into RS0 and we'll see the data. Meanwhile, we can only wait.
it is also possible to increase the replica set number or decrease it. Uh, increase will uh, work fine, but decrease uh, while they will decrease, the PVC will remain as intact. And then user have to delete it itself or uh, they can keep it that way. So all of the database is available. And all the data also. So you can see that data is intact. Let's create a snapshot quickly. Uh, we need secret for it. This is the GCS secret that is given in the storage secret name. So we are fine to go. completed uh, this is the bucket I used this is the name is this and this is the database name and this is the snapshot RS the snapshot taken right now if you see the time this is 10 20 p.m 10 20 p.m so we can also add a scheduler backup here We have to give the backup schedule to the to take the periodically backup. So after on, after each minute, KubeDB will take a backup of this instance. And we can also remove the backup by editing this, removing this backup scheduler from the CRD object. Meanwhile, we create a recover object who uses snapshot RS that we created just earlier now. This is just a scheduler backup. Let's remove that scheduler part. Mm. 
let's just make it have a make it about recovery after running all the three instances it will create a job to restore the old snapshot data so we can only wait for deploying it the data is not available here yet so meanwhile you can see the nice schedule for data are here Now this is the this is the part that is restoring that uh, job. This is weird actually. No initial servers. Ah, that's completed. Maybe it was waiting for the readiness. So, so let's just check if the data is available or not. Uh, the test database is available. So it has taken all the data from the previous database Bongo RS and it has copied, restored the data in memory about the new instance. So my demo is saved, I guess. All the data is also available. Uh, I just want to mention one more thing. It is also possible to initialize the MongoDB with using a init script part, a script source. And uh, this is uh, any database, any volume source user can use. Uh, it will mount that into the init script and that will initialize the yeah, MongoDB yeah, at the first time. So this is the progress of MongoDB replica set. Uh, any questions will be would be good. Uh, we'll try this. Um, we'll try the last few fixes, and uh, we have to add the exp exporter part if that works good or not. Uh, this is a long demo. We have here. Uh, if any questions you guys have
Any concern? No, thank you. Uh, Imrose? No, thanks. Okay. So I guess this is the end of our today's uh, could do a more community meeting. It is actually a demo. I just wasted our this meeting, I guess. Uh, we will talk about some more issues and we'll discuss some features, features what should be included in our next meeting. Uh, so till then, take care. And thanks for joining our meeting.